Hi, this is Zach from Dataminer, and this is a quick video to walk you through how to do auto form filling with Dataminer. So as you can see, we're on a form example within the Dataminer sandbox, and this is just a place for you to practice the form filling process. Um, and in addition to practice, we also provide you with some uh, practice data. So you can just download that here by clicking the download here. And then that information is just a very basic Excel spreadsheet of <clears throat> the URL that you're going to be um, filling the form in at. So this is the URL of the form, then just some of the information. So we have a first name, a last name, company, and then a city location. So this is the information that you'll be importing into the form. So uh, now that we have this information, we're actually just going to upload it to data miner. So to do that, we're actually going to go to the top right corner of the toolbar. And instead of um, going to a recipe, we're actually going to go to collections because we already have all the information that a recipe would provide us. So let's do collections. Now, just like a job, we're going to import the, the data. So import a CSV. So we're going to select the file that we just downloaded. Press open. Now, as you can see, we have all the information that we just downloaded. So now the goal is to get this into the form. So to do that, we're going to go and create a job. So select a job on the left and just fill out the appropriate information. So for job name, let's just say um, sandbox form. And then the recipe name is going to be the form filling recipe. And that is sandbox autofill forms. And then <clears throat> the source collection is the um, the Excel CSV data that we uploaded. So let's do autofill data. And this is again, remember the information that you downloaded from the website, or it could be your own version where you wanted to do it from scratch. So autofill data. And then column number is just that first column where the URL is located for the page that has the file, or sorry, the page that has the form. And then output is just the final um, information that you would scrape after you fill the form. So form, form filling is a process of submitting information and then also scraping the results. So for the output collection will be just the, the final scrape. So let's do sandbox output. Press save. And now that we create our job, let's run it. Let's press run job. And as you can see, we went to the form, and we will wait for a few seconds for the page to fully load, and then Data Miner will um, import all the or add in all the data information that we had in our CSV. Oh, there we go. So we have Allen Stone Company, and then it submitted it. So at this point, it's going to scrape the information that was already on the page, and which is just this note down here. And if we were to look back at the data miner um, extension, you can see that there is now a data miner window keeping track of the process and it's currently scraping one job and we just have to wait. Awesome. So now we just processed the first row and if you want to see the output, just go to destination collection and then do sandbox output. And as you can see, the scrape was successful and we were able to capture that text. So and if you want, we can just download it as a CSV to see it expanded since there are a few columns so it's collapsed. Let's open that up. Right. Awesome and now as you can see we were able to successfully capture that text and we also have the success for our status as well as all the source information that we inputted into the form. So now that we were able to have our first successful form filling, let's go back to see how this is going. So it looks like it's still, it's still running its form filling. Let's just look at it run one more time. Awesome, so here you go. As you can see again, it's filling the form and submitting it. Great, well, that is pretty much just the entire process for form, for form filling. Um, if you want, you can just press stop and close since this example 
is fairly straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and we'll do our best to answer them. And I hope this video was helpful. All right, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Thank you.